Uh, there's a bit of wind. You can hear the rain kind of hitting the top of us as well. Uh, there's a thunderstorm still, and visually, it doesn't look all that impressive, does it? If you pop up Storm Shield, you look at the IMAP radar on there, it looks far more impressive just south of Strasburg and down towards Byers. Well, that's it. That's it right there. Uh, it looks more impressive on radar because the radar is actually shooting up into the base of it where it does look scarier than down below it. But Corey and I were down there underneath it as it developed about 15 miles south of here on Bennett and Kiowa Road. I think it was about 10, 15 miles south, right, Corey? Yeah. Um, and we kind of were on the south side of it, and that was about half hour, 40 minutes ago, and then drove through it as we were coming back here. And there were some small hail, pea size, maybe up to the size of a dime or so. But on IMAP, that the radar section of Storm Shield, you can see kind of the visual contrast here. It looks a lot more impressive on radar than it does at the ground level. But one factor to that is, is how much humidity there is in the sky today, in the air today. Yesterday and today, in fact, had very humid conditions. And the humidity is kind of cutting down the visibility a little bit. This is something you'd see more often to eastern Kansas or west of there where you have more humidity. But a lot of that humidity is fueling these storms. So 64 degrees here, but still an active thunderstorm. And the radar is continuing to show it uh, quite strong. With some hail, not a warning. You have to get to quarter size hail and bigger for that warning. But as we continue to track it, there's you know some areas of shear here, and more technical radars are showing still a good amount of rotation, and that's why you're kind of seeing these scary looking clouds at times drifting down that may appear to be funnels, but they're not. They're in a different part of the thunderstorm. But the whole complex out here, Anne, is actually rotating a bit. It's the strongest storm we have across the whole area right now. All right, Matt, we will uh, continue to check back in with you this afternoon. As